fact, a 16-year-old autistic girl was just arrested by British police for saying something that they construed as homophobic, but really wasn't? Take a look at this news package from Pink News. West Yorkshire police have been accused of manhandling an autistic girl because she said an officer looked like her grandmother who is a lesbian. The 16-year-old was arrested for a homophobic public order offence. Police confirmed to Pink News as footage of the incident sparked widespread outrage on social media. In a TikTok video, the girl's mother, Lisa Rosicki, accused the force of being bullies in uniform. West Yorkshire police said the incident occurred at 12.12am on Monday the 7th of August when the force received calls from a family member of a 16-year-old girl who was reportedly intoxicated and putting herself at risk in Leeds city centre. The force told Pink News officers drove the teenager home, and upon returning her to the address, comments were made which resulted in the girl being arrested on suspicion of a homophobic public order offence. The nature of the comments made was fully captured on body-worn video. Social media users have called the video distressing and very upsetting. One user said the conduct from the West Yorkshire police officers was totally unacceptable, while another condemned the force's behaviour as disgusting. West Yorkshire Police Assistant Chief Constable Oz Khan added to Pink News that the video only provides a very limited snapshot of the circumstances of the incident, but acknowledged they have received a complaint that is being assessed by West Yorkshire Professional Standards Directorate. Khan said the force takes its responsibilities around the welfare of young people taken into custody and around neurodiversity very seriously, but added, our officers and staff should not have to face abuse while working to keep our communities safe. I'm sorry, but this is dystopian stuff. Firstly, I just have to say, the cop here kind of does look like a lesbian. <laughs> and I don't actually see why that's offensive. There's nothing wrong with being a lesbian or looking butch. But even if it was an offensive comment, the idea that you're arresting anyone, let alone an autistic minor, for making an offensive comment to a police officer is completely antithetical to free speech. And this isn't an incident where we just have out of context viral clip footage. Because we actually have a statement from New West Yorkshire Police where they acknowledge that this young girl was arrested on quote, suspicion of a homophobic public order offense. They go on to say that while they take the responsibilities around the welfare of young people taken into custody and around neurodiversity very seriously, we also maintain that our officers and staff should not have to face abuse while working to keep our communities safe. Now, I really don't think it is abusive. If you watch the full footage, it seems like the comment at issue here was, you look like a lesbian like my Nana. How is that abuse? How is that even an insult? It's just a perhaps awkwardly worded observation or comment from a confused teenager. But even if it was a offensive or abusive remark at issue here, there should be no such thing as a homophobic public order offense. Because that means giving the government the power to decide what ideas or statements are too offensive or hateful to be uttered in public and then arresting people for their thought and speech crimes. That belongs in 1984. That belongs in dystopian fiction. It does not belong in a free Western society that calls itself a democracy. Also, like, how thin is your skin as a grown adult police officer that you feel the need to arrest somebody because they hurt your fifis? Give me a break. If you can't do your job in the face of a comment that offends you, maybe you need to work on that because that sounds like you lack the emotional maturity of a functioning adult. And if you're so mortified at the thought that anybody might think you're a lesbian, maybe you shouldn't present in such a butch and frankly lesbian appearing manner. Which, there's nothing wrong with that, so why are you offended by it anyway? This whole story is insane, and it's provoked massive denunciation and outrage online, and for good reason. But I don't want folks to lose sight of the bigger picture here. This kind of thing doesn't and can't happen in the United States because we have a First Amendment. And yes, the First Amendment has to protect hate speech, because if it doesn't, then you give agents of the government the power to decide what is hateful or offensive, and stuff like this will be caught up in the backlash. There's no way to have a free society while simultaneously criminalizing and policing the expression of ugly or offensive statements. And I always look at the UK as an important example because they're very culturally similar to us. So I look at them as what we could be just a few years down the line if we didn't have the same constitutional and legal protections that we do in the United States today. 
I don't want to live in a world where police officers arrest autistic teenagers for awkward comments that aren't even offensive. But if you do, then go along with the plans to erode the First Amendment and undermine free speech in America, because that's where we will end up.